Okay, I'm going to have a look at a key part to Kerry's, uh, I would say, strategy going forward for, 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 uh, for Sunday. So, obviously we know the key threat is, is Clifford. But for me, um, the difference between Dublin and Derry, which is obviously Kerry's last game, is that a lot of the time the players around Clifford uh, were, were, were finding it very hard to create space mm. on the basis that Derry had a mass defence, okay? So, you know, automatically you'll think as a Dublin manager, management or players, right, let's do our homework on the key threat, which is Clifford. However, I think if you do that and you neglect the other lads around, which are, are really good quality players, you're going you're gonna to cause issues. So, for me... Uh, I'm going to go right back to Shane Ryan's kickouts yeah. for this because I think this is crucial. The first half, Shane Ryan, uh, his kickouts went all short in around, just, just in, inside that 45 metre line, uh, particularly to his right, but he had a good mix in between right and left, okay? Yeah. Was that dirty dropping off? Maybe it was. But what happened was they got 1 2 from that, okay? The second half, the, the kick out strategy changed slightly and they didn't get as much joy. Derry then started getting players into this zone here in the second half, into this zone here where you see number 40 in Dublin, and they start getting turnovers and encountering, okay? So here's what I would do. I'm not saying this is exactly what Dublin would do, but here's what I do to negate Clifford. I would essentially say, okay, if you're going to go either zonal as a defence, uh, like this, or possibly. Um, yeah, I'll just pull him across here. So let's say you're going to go zonal, which you're, you're basically trying to get uh, Shane Roy to kick long. You have Fenton and McCarthy in midfield that are really, you know, big players for Dublin on the day. But if they don't get, if they don't push Shane Roy long, yeah, and they go short. So let's say it goes short. What I would be trying to get, don't mind the numbers on the Dublin colours here, but what I'd be trying to do here is I'd be trying to get him pushed to one side. So if, if Shane Ryan kicks to the number seven here, which would be Gary yeah. White, what I would be saying is, as we see in the last day when McCaig was marking Clifford, Clifford wants to make this run out to his left. Yeah? Yeah. And we see him just under the hill 16 there where Clifford got the ball, McCaig was right up, right up behind him, but he was still turning on his left. And that's an obvious one that, you know, your left footer, you, you want him to turn his left. But let's say... Mick Fitz is the man marker. I would have a sweeper here. I'd have um, this kind of line of uh, forwards pushing the, the Kerry player over to the side line. And then your options are limited. I'd have Cluxton coming off his line a little bit in case Clifford spins him. You have Cluxton there. So really, if Mick Fitz is the man that's going to do the job, he's marking the straight run. Oh, the screen is moving. He's marking the straight run. And then he's pushing him towards that sweeper. Yeah. Uh, so ultimately you're cutting him off and then obviously you're getting everybody coming down the blind side to make sure that you're not neglecting the lads that are you know the O'Shea's uh, and, and also the lads that are kind of coming from the opposite blind side Is this where Kerry need to have a, a real think about their setup? because I think Dublin can have this man knowing that Adrian Spillane is going to be out the pitch knowing that Dara Moynihan is going to be out the pitch and Let's be honest, no one, they're not as big a threat as some of the other players you're talking about. Yeah. But if Kerry make that change, like we saw Stephen O'Brien coming in at half time against Derry, Killian Spillane's back, it could be a bit more positive. Maybe it's a bit too gung ho, but it would definitely make Dublin think twice about that player. Like Dublin would be looking at how do we benefit from Marley dropping off. I think Kerry would yeah. look at how do we benefit from this man. I don't know who that's going to be throughout the years. It's Johnny Cooper, it's Keen O'Sullivan. It possibly could be Brian Howard. Um, but ultimately, this man, why why is this important? Why is the shape of the forwards here important? Well, Kerry want to play a fast game. They want to play a kicking game. They want to play a fast game. And they want to get that ball straight into this man here. And whether he's the one taking the scores or you've got lads coming off his shoulder, they will generally look at... Kerry traditionally will look for this ball in, in top of the day. Yeah. It's the most dangerous ball you, you you could give in and it's the most dangerous ball to try to defend because ultimately you can have runners coming off them but also you can have uh, a couple of different options in terms of you're inside the scoring zone uh, left or right of you. Uh, and if you turn, you're, you know, you're so close to the goal as well. But for me, um, I personally think yeah, Dublin are going to have to focus on this man here but not as much as everybody thinks because I think the lads around them 
Uh, as I said, O'Shea, he's possibly going to think that he's going to be free based off the sweeper, but I think the sweeper's going to come from not the six, but possibly from either a wing forward or if Howard is starting midfield, he's going to drift in from there. Yeah. And finally, these guys here, you have them in that lane deliberately, do you? In that shape deliberately? Because you're trying to ward off that ball going down there? Yeah, no, you're trying to... Do, I would say, uh, like, when you dictate the, the, the flight plan of the carry ball coming out, so let's say, as I said, you know, they, they don't win... Dublin don't win the ball on their zonal uh, shape or maybe on a long kick out. Yeah. The odd time, as I said, Ryan will go short. So what's crucial is is that this Dublin defence, uh, for me, this Sunday, dictates where they want the kicker to go and then how that ball can be kicked in. So th there's very little options there. Like So if the, if the sweeper's here and the plus one is there, Clifford can only get that straight ball down the channel there. And let's be honest, for a defender, especially if a defender like McFitz, if, again, I'm just trying to predict that McFitz is going to be the guy that's marking him, a straight ball is what you want to attack. Yeah. You, know, you don't want diagonal balls. And as I said, Cluxon's that good that he can come out and kind of block off that side a little bit. But, so what happens secondary then? What's the secondary movement? Is that, again, we're just using number seven here, Gavin White he comes down, kicks not on, looks up, Clifford's blocked off here on the right side, and then you have your sweeper here on the left side. Only ball he can possibly get is here in this corner. Yeah. That cuts the two players out. But also, it's like, right, I've got two players, I've got him chasing me here, and I'm in the corner, and I've also got a sweeper coming in here. I can't really, unless I take these two players on, mm. and taking two Dublin players on defensively, maybe other counties you get away with it, but no, I don't think you take two Dublin players on in that position. Yeah. So, so why has to come back? He has to ship the ball around, unless he gets by 1v1 on a player, but he has to basically come back around. Yeah. And that's okay. Kerry will be okay with that. They'll be patient on the ball. Uh, but I do think it slows their momentum. It slows yeah. their game down. And if they turn it over, then you're dragging these players up the pitch by not kicking the ball, by them carrying the ball. You're dragging these players out the pitch, which is what Dublin wants because when we seen them against Mullen the last day, every time they turned them over, particularly over here in the Cusick side, mm. um, just where this number nine here is, you could see... Uh, once they turned them over, they were going in twos and threes, and basically, Monaghan was stumbling in terms of defensively. So that's what Dublin want. Dublin want to create space, uh, so that they can get the likes of Conor Callahan, if it's Paddy Small, Kilkenny, Paul Mannion, all going for goal. Costello, a whole lot of them. That's brilliant, Philly. Very, very interesting.